So, 2019 VNL, week three, we're in Varna, Bulgaria. Pool 10, Italy in the blue to serve first here against Japan. Oreste Cavuta with the ball in hand. Quick transition, and it's Japan who lead us away. Siding out straight away, the Japanese Yamaguchi, the middle blocker. Third touch, gets it down on the floor, which allows Ishikawa now to serve. Difficult one to deal with as well. Nelly, that's his first chance to wind over the shoulder. Good start here by the Japanese. That's a score off the block of Antonov. So Ishikawa, then the 40 cap wing spiker on service. They work it to Nelly. Yeah. That will be the first of, no doubt, many today for Gabriele Nelly. That Gianelli to Nelly combination is the sweet spot for the Italians. Gianelli has just had a, a fabulous championship all told so far. 17, Anzani. Yeah, good recovery after the loose start from the Italians. Back-to-back -back points. So the serve of Anzani immediately working. Simone Anzani, three medals with the Italian squad from Safety Perugia. Back set. Nishida came in, there'll be a chance for a hit here, and there was a follow-through with it as well. It's a, a booming attempt by Antonov. Japan unable to pick it up. Yeah, stepping in, what, meets a metre and a half from that left-hand paint. Making sure that he won the point. Service of Anzani working, but Japan manufacture the pipe finish for Yuki Ishikawa. Really good finish this. He lands that just in time. Down the channel. No chance for Kabuto to stop it. So the side out now sees Yamaguchi on service. The middle blocker from Panasonic Panthers. Quick touch. Oh, it's a, a miscue. They got their timing all wrong there. Quick set, which came into Russo. And brain and body not quite in perfect fusion there. It's missed times the jump. So Yamaguchi will continue, the 25-year-old. Uh, Ten of the squad are in the world champs last year for Japan. Miss from Antonov. A bit hit and miss in the opening exchanges here, the Moscow ball player. He only has the one defender as his obstacle there. Say that he was forced into going cross court. Gianelli, Antonov that time lands it. Yeah. Well, he played safe that time and tried to hold the line. And he was on time.
third in the service rotation is the skipper Gianelli. Six four Japan. These two always produce interesting matchups as Yuji Nishida serves. Gianelli. High set, plenty of elevation on that for Nelly. And the, well, Japanese point of attack not functioning there. 6 5. Antonov, the Galatasaray player. His debut came almost exactly four years ago. It was a victory over Australia in Adelaide. Back set, good finish. Cross court, true as an arrow. Yuji Nishida. Great technique through that. Shortening down the angle of the finish and getting the direction. Kabuto, wing side. Nice smooth transition from the Azuri there. Bringing in the Trentino player, Kabuto. There's no way he was missing that. Seven six. Entertaining stuff here, overpass. Well, Kabuto couldn't throw that down. Antonov gives it to Nelly. So he'll set, oh, and it comes through Gianelli for Anzani to pummel it. Up quickly, down quickly too. Gets over this so well, Anzani, as Italy improvised their attack. Japan very, very slow to read the danger signals. Back set, Italy blocking, Cavuto. Here's the third touch, Sherwood invites Nelly. Yeah, and he just palms that off the blockers. 8-7. First technical timeout of the opening set in Varna. Italy are a point ahead here. Play resumes then with Italy leading. It's a, a one point set at present, though. Roberto Russo now, a middle blocker from Ravenna. One for the future at 22. Part of the blend with the more experienced characters in this group. Italy look to get back to the top table. They're scrapping down amongst the bins there, I'm afraid. Eight all. Quick transition. And Italy slow to read the danger. Certainly backcourt, no one available for the pickup. Haku Lee. Oh, delightful there from Nelly. Just a, another reminder of how he's able to mix his game up. He doesn't give it the hammer every time.
So now Nelly will serve. No. Long. And he's a good all-rounder, Gabriele Nelly. And the ace count is up there, so far in the VNL, but that particular attempt was mistimed. Good service there from Nano Fuji. Bold attempt by Balasso to stop him. Fuji goes again. Oh, it's down the line this time. It's another ace for Fuji. Oh, it's a, a delightful direction he's put on this. Oh, look at the outward. The outward motion on it. And Balasso gave it a look, but then left it. Good side out here as Nelly gets high and over the shot. Scoops it downwards. That's a way to beat the block. Cavuto. Good serve. Ribeiro blocks it. Back set. And Japan. Very, very efficient scoring off the block, thanks to Yuki Ishikawa. Coat goes long from the service line. And Zani, top blocker in this season's VNL for the Italians. There's the push, quick transition, and they're going to score off the block there, which was a little bit lucky. That was a scruffy point from Japan's point of view. Crying out for a cleaner kill there. Fingers back, hand of Antonov. That's why that point goes Japan's way. 13 11 here, first set. A Gianelli to Antonov. Looking to isolate the Russian born player that time rather than steering it out to Nelly as the opposite. Isolated that blocker. Nishida, very little opportunity there to successfully stop Antonov. So Simone Gianelli serves. Yeah, quick set, AB, and in for the hit was Haku Lee. From Torre Arrows. Lovely play from Japan there, bringing Ishikawa into play once more, and it's the way they're mixing it up in between trying to get over the top of the net and involving the pipe attack. Good movement. Good movement from Japan. Nishida. Power serve. Tap down from Antonov, Japan. Very good pickup, but they've given away the advantage now with the overpass, and Italy try and hit them, and they do hit them hard. Pipe attack, power play from backcourt here. They're not hanging around, trying to get back into this set. The Italians, Cavuto gives it the pummel.
Antonov fizzes over the serve. Back set. But Nishida's feet weren't best placed there. And as reliable as familiar as night following day. Nelly receiving a good set. Finds the point off the kill. Doesn't often miss Gabriele Nelly. This could be his moment. BNL 2019. Antonov. The son of Yaroslav Antonov, an Olympic silver medalist with the USSR back in 1988 in Seoul. Throw down, super blocking. Japan retrieve and somehow burgle a point. No, they don't. It's a clean out. I thought they'd cleverly work to touch off the block here, off uh, Cavuto on the outside. No, poor miss. Poor miss, that. From Haku Lee. Yeah, the lead of three, Japan, but it's been wiped out. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You don't forget, you prepare, you prepare a turn and everything. Huh? Okay. Young, also in transition, is the same. He will play long side back. Well, let's not forget last year's BNL meeting in Osaka, which Japan won in five sets. It was a thrilling decider. 15 10, Japan took it in the third. They met a month and a half later as well at the. Uh, World champs. champs in Italy, one inch straight sets. Also, they met in the Worlds in 2010, which Italy swept as, as well. Three sets to love. Italy have dug in in this set. They'll lead us into the second technical timeout of this opening set, 16-15. Very tight here, but you do get the feeling that the Italians are just playing in the low gears. The atmosphere is building. This is a terrific venue, the Palace of Culture and Sport in Varna. It's seen so much top-level volleyball action down the years, and it's set to witness even more later when the Olympic qualifiers come here in August. And later today, the home team will be out on court as well against Australia. But in match one from Varna, Italy have the edge on Japan just at 16.15. Service fault from Antonov. So we're all level. So Otake is being removed here for Sekita. And Nishida is well being rotated out off the service of Masahiro Yanagida. So they're going for more height in the front row here. Sensitive stage of the set. All square. Punch serve into the net from Yanagida. Frustrating to give up, offer up the momentum like that. Russo serve, Koga the uh, Libero picks up, well, nothing wrong with the transition, but Japan's choice of attack point there was perhaps the wrong one, because Anzani blocks those in his sleep. 
Good bump. Oh, the overpass. Goodness knows how uh, Russo managed to steer that the other side of the net. Italy playing catch up from that point on. And Atake scores off the blocker. A lot of fight set, and that was the second Italian blocker on the side to just read the read the play. But Japan spiking too strong. They're still trailed by one though. And can't get that back over the net. Rani chalked up another point for the Azzurri. Nelly. Of course, he's leading the way. He has six points today. A couple of service errors, though. Twice he's done that. Heavy on the top spin, but not getting it to drop in time. Behind the three meter line. That's a, a different skill entirely. Try and hit the spike, land it in from that withdrawn position the other side of the net. Likes to get over the, the spike a, a little bit more, Nelly, rather than draw out a bit of reach on it. to the wing gonna give him another go as well it's blocked back Ishikawa now third time lucky is it yes it is ah oh, the tip shot that was the one that killed them two attempts at the hit two attempts they tried to crush bulldoze through the block you don't need to you just need to just twiddle the key in the lock a little bit better Daintiest touches. Le due volte ha preso muro. La terza palla, se non è un pallonetto, è spingere contro le mani per un blockout. Dai, raga, eh? Su, su, questo. Va bene? Eh? Questo che non vuol dire che vai sui tre metri. Vieni dentro e te la. Questo cambio, questo cambio, vai. Well, what a year he had in his first 12 months in the job, Gerard Lorenzo Blenghini. Silver at the World Cup, bronze at the Euros in the same year, and then silver at Rio 2016. Took over from Mauro Beruto in 2015. All the signs are that Italy can restore some of the glory. We're in a battle here, though. Opening set in Varna, Bulgaria. That's a great hit. a delightful hit through the gap down into clear open court from Oreste Cavuto very patient as he waited for the ball to come into his airspace in that rally oh, when it did come near him he knew exactly what to do with it so Italy are rotating here. Davide Candelaro comes on. He's got a, a service game. So Cavuto rotated out. 
Delaro, the middle blocker for Trentino. So, relative late starter to the international scene. Only made his international debut at 28. Blocked down brilliantly by Anzani. Fourth point. Super here from Anzani. Because he was the single blocker. Where you uh, look at Yamaguchi there and think, well, you need an angle on the spike there. Great set. 21 all. Look to be wide, that's a really good chance, not taken. Gift for Italy. The Japanese unforced error off the spike. Well, at this level, those misses are always going to be costly. So in the present context, it's the side out. Backcourt reinforcements are asked for with the veteran Fukuzawa. Because Italy have a real opportunity here on service at 22 21. Not the best set, yeah. Italy blocking Anzani really at the top of his game at the moment. Anzani has been consistent throughout this VNL season, the safety Perugia player. to break the finishing tape at the end of the set. There's a side out, Candelaro's uh, court presence is withdrawn. So Cavuto back on, the Japanese side out. Service with Yuki Ishikawa, good one as well. Fabulous save there by Oreste Cavuto. They're going to give it to Nelly to try and get up to set point here. Well, Gianelli goes opposite now to Oleg Antonov. Who's he going to give it to this time? Well, the answer is Antonov. Two bites at the cherry. Back it comes. And the rescue job is completed by Ishikawa. 23 all. Face of thunder on Blinkini, the coach. And no wonder there were chances for Italy to get up to set point. Just look there at the front court player Akihiro Yamaguchi stepping across, which serves to only confuse the Italian block. Well, he's been one of the players of the competition so far, Simone Gianelli. Yuki Ishikawa leading the way for Japan. And Gianelli gives it to Antonov. Too many misfires, and it's a Japanese set point here. The unforced errors off the hitting of Antonov. Italy today, they really have. Gianelli gives it to him there. You can see what he's trying, but he gets neither well, the angle or the height to clear the tape there. 
Ishikawa here on set point Japan. Ace. Oh, wow. He unleashed the torpedo there. And that's the way to claim the set. Japan, who beat Italy in last year's VNL, have taken the opening set here in Varna against them in 2019 to 25 and 23. Italy flying in the Volleyball Nations League this year and having their wings clipped by the Japanese. Opening set here to Nakagechi's team. Very even in the first set, Japan took it by two. Look at that though, no blocking points won for Japan. Despite that though, they've taken the set. The uh, involved Ishikawa, he was deadly. 25-23 then. So the Italians in catch-up mode in Havana, Bulgaria. Japanese set a contact point, so they've been going to wing side. Well, he masterminded the victory last year, Yuichi Makagaichi. No making the cut for the finals week is going to be beyond the Japanese this year. The experience gained from picking up the victories, travelling and playing against, crucially, international teams that are made up of players who week in, week out play with the top European clubs. That is what will be so important when it comes to Tokyo next year. His VNL runs pretty much straight into the, an odd decision to begin with. In and over, Gianelli just prevented the floor touch there. And the referee gave it a good long look before awarding the point to Italy for squaring up the match. Roberto Russo. Anzani. To Gianelli helps it on there to Nelly. Oh, try to give it the less is more approach just with a tip finish. But Japan reversing the angle but finding no way past the 
increasingly impressive Simone Anzani. Fabulous block that, shutting the door on Nishida. Oh, really cute that. Masahiro Yanagida. We're just threatening to pull the trigger, then drawing his arm back, waiting for the defenders to commit. Easing that down onto to Nelly's head. Akihiro Yamaguchi. Might have been an argument for a leave there. Nice expansive setting. That goes right into the apex. And he's a peach from Cavuto. Such a clean strike through here. Nelly has seven points for the day today. Good combination play. They can look slick when they're in, the, when they're in that mood and oh, they get everything ticking over and working nicely. Yanagida just peels in behind. Haku Lee there. It's just good movement from Japan. Yuji Nishida serves. No. Still not bad though, the service percentages today from Japan. I make that just the sixth mistake. By contrast, Italy have made nine errors. You can lift that into double digits now. Yanagida, squad captain. Antonov will be quite happy to claim that. Six points for the day. Two off attacks for uh, Simone Anzani and the four blocks for the safety Perugia player. Safe as houses. Cutely done. Again, mixing it up at the net here, Japan. Nano Fuji comes in, the stand in setter. Gets high. Meter 83, not naturally the, the tallest of squads, the Japanese. Throw down. Gianelli, well, you'll wonder how that's come back over the net. Gianelli will set now. Yeah, second time round, there's no messing about from Roberto Russo. Bump, and Gianelli just cushions that for Russo. Who's really stepped up to the plate today, Russo. Six five here, second set. <laughs> Off the block. They're finding ways to win the points here. Ishikawa with his seventh point of the match. Throws the shot straight in the middle of the block. There's not much Russo can do. Scrappiness from the Japanese there. Be 
began by beating Serbia on week one in Serbia. Japan, Shikawa back 19 points. And then followed defeats to Russia and France. Beat Argentina, lost to Brazil and Iran last week. Italians, it has to be said, getting their VNL campaign now. They've lost their first and last matches. Four straight victories in between. It's Germany, China, USA and Portugal, but last time out, their last match, beaten by the Russians in straight sets. Oleg Antonov serving for Italy. Throw down. Oh, what a brilliant pick up there. Scrambling over the top. Yeah, might have been uh, a little bit of uh, imbalance. Tight in on the net for, for a net touch there. Gian Lorenzo Blinkini has. Yeah, he's challenged, I think, an antenna touch here. Vertical extension of the uh, playing court, if you will. Ball has to travel inside the antenna. Can't touch it. Otherwise, it's an out of bounds call. A little bit of today, a little bit of a breather, which can be welcome. Extra theatre is provided by the, the weight, the, the eye in the sky. Yeah, so the initial call was an antenna fault. Might be uh, an issue with communication here between the uh, refereeing team and uh, our friends in the Hawkeye department. No fault. So that's a miss. The momentum given up straight away, Yuki Ishikawa. But now, coach with instructions for skipper. Roberto Rosso was part of the Italian squad at the under-21 World Champs. Cross-court hit. Ah, wide. Um, the referee points in the direction of Italy, which means Nishida has missed, or at least that's the call from our official. So watch him go cross-court here. There's a shout that that clip, the very outside of the paint, not challenged it. 10 7. The gap's opening up here. Italy on serve. Yeah, a miss, a clean out from Masahiro Yanagida. 1 meter 86 in the wing spike position on the rotation. 
And just look at the height of the blockers there. They've done extremely well. The two Italians, Nelly and Anzani there, to not allow Japan to score off the block. And there's been no challenge either. So the veteran comes on, Tatsuya Fukuzawa. Russo serving and acing, just greasing the palms there of Haku Lee. Not the most auspicious of introductions for Fukuzawa. There's a long way to go in the set, but Yuichi Nakagaichi, the Japan coach, is perhaps heeding some warning signs here. We've got Fukuzawa in back court. Now then, Russo served straight at him last time. That was the intention again, this as well, but. Pipe finish. Oh, they get it. By hook or by crook. They had the ball down on the floor there, Italy. Antonov. Off the set from Gianelli. He changes his mind mid-flight. Pushes the shot, open hand against the blockers. Seven point Gabriele Nelli dumps the serve into the net. Junior European champion in 2012. Debut for Blengini in 2015. So he's been there since day one. Day one of the coaches era. Yuji Nishida hits the serve. It's a good one as well. Gianelli, they bring in Nelly. And an awful long time to size up the opportunity and then execute the shot there, Nelly. Not clean. Japan are struggling to deal with the threat of Gabriele Nelly, and they wouldn't be the first in this year's VNL. Oreste Cabuto made his debut the week before the VNL started. This time last month, he wasn't even an international player. Push back down, just not enough spike really in the Japanese attack there from Yamaguchi. Anzani continues to be worth his weight in goal to the Italy. Kabuto with a float serve, second touchdown. Nano Fuji produces a moment for the scrapbook. Second touch dump. Oh. Provides so much satisfaction there. As the opposition blockers steal themselves for a set that never arrives. And Fukuzawa into the net. To take it at all on uh, Tatsuya Fukuzawa. What a servant he's been to the national selection. But this is all Italy set. They're six ahead. Yes, yes. 
Well, Philippe Blair, highly decorated former French international, he's part of the support system for Yuichi Nakagaichi, the head coach of Japan. Yep, they need to start bolting on back-to-back -back points in this fashion. Ishikawa scores there to make it 16-11. Haku Lee. Yeah, continue to turn the clamp. This is looking like Italy's set. Service of Gianelli, Italy block back into pure open court. Roberto Russo standing tall, standing firm. It's clever defense, really, because yes, you make the block and then just follow it through with a throw. Japan's high line exposed. Gianelli uh, lands it outside. So this is the rotation then. Nishida the opposite out. They say Otake comes in. The gap is six. Russo attempted the throw down. That came back at them. Italian defense strong, generally speaking, today. Despite the concession, that opening set. Antonov off serve, quick transition. Uh, Japan might pay for uh, not killing the first chance. Nelly, block back down and out. No, nope, good recovery. Good recovery from Japan. Japan have called a timeout as well here. Oleg Antonov, picked up by Yuki Ishikawa, who then with that third touch tries to finish. Stuffed down and it's on the floor. 21 plays 12. Collective. Water splashed all around the face here just to wake them up, Italy. After they lost the opening set. Antonov threw the tape and over. Set has to be good here for Osai. No, it's pushed back down. Russo and Nelly, the combination of the two of them, get it down. Don't worry too much in the moment who is going to be credited with the personal points. The song in the event. 
So Antonov continues to serve here at 22-12. It's been a rout in this second set from the Italians. That's a throw down, so the Japanese will be up to 13 because the ball's on the floor, but outside, that means it all gets more respectable. We are currently in lowest scoring set territory in VNL history here. USA beat Korea 25-11 last year. So they are at least two better off than that. Italy are nearly there now in terms of levelling the match up. Nelly's been putting those away all tournament long. Russo. Well played. It's a Otake. Yeah, he's had some good days so far in the VNL, Otake. That's only his second point today. A particularly productive first week. The Novi Sad, Serbia. Top scored against the Russians in that full set defeat, so Tarke. Donadera notch 12 in the opening. The victory over the uh, Serbians. Akihiro Yamaguchi to serve. Japan have control back off the block, thrown down. This will need to be a good set. Oh. They had a, a triple block there, the Italians. And in the circumstances, Yanagida picks his way through it very impressively. Another day, of course, that comes back. Just hangs vertically. Quick transition, and Zani tend to just wipe out and establish it to be now at set point. And they can try all sorts of things here to try and win the set. If there's plenty of breathing space. Nelly. Oh, rattles the serve through. They picked it up. Italy will go again. And Nelly will get his second chance to win the set and level up the match. That's what happens, 25-15. The double-digit margin here, and Italy have blitzed the Japanese in response to losing the opening set by two. So, a net touch on the way down. But uh, it's put them out of their misery. And they'll just press the reset button now, the Japanese, and go again. Now the match is all square at one set apiece. After Italy have found their stride here in the second set. One set all here in Varna.
Well, Italian spike placement there from the second set. No recognisable pattern. Coming down wing sides, mainly. And those little green baubles represent, I would argue, the majority of the hitting that Nelly has been responsible for. 11 points for the match, 10 off attacking for Gabriele Nelly. Seven as well for Simone Anzani, who has been quite fabulous in the block. Oleg Antonov will serve here at the start of set three. Italy having just levelled up the match at set piece. Ishikawa, first chance to score, not taken. Instead, the momentum passed over to the team in blue and Areste Cavuto was able to Get us up and running in this set. Tapping that off the block of Masa Sakita. Italy siding out, thus giving serving responsibilities to Oleg Antonov, the 1 metre 88 wing spiker. Three World League medals. His Euro bronze from 2015. Taishi Onadera. Well, Onadera wearing 20. We're going to see him rotated into the starting six for the following matches in this pool, I, I suspect, alongside Haku Lee. Because the pool phase very much about rotation. With a long list of 25 names, it's best to to have a mix of experienced players, and those that have been impressing in the age level teams. Russo on serve there, brilliant block again by Anzani. Impenetrable, this guy today. Japan have called a timeout as well as they seek for answers to getting round the blocking of Simone and Zardi of Safety Perugia early to be calling a timeout. The team just got one point on the board. If you play just left, right, left, right, you take two men, two men. We have to take risk and to play quick, twice, and quality of serve. This is what we have to do for side out. Okay? And after, when you have two men block in front of you, find solution. Such a set is wrong. Keeping, play to man. But first, we have to organize like this side out. Okay. Well, very significant the input there of uh, Philly Blanc, who is uh, the 59 year old Frenchman, former France international, Euro silver medalist back in Belgium in 1987. But been working with the Federation alongside Yuichi Nakagaichi for two years now. Japan did win the Asian Championship as recently as 2017, but the Asian Games gold medal is the one they really all want to win in terms of the continental spoils in Asia. Iran have won back-to-back -back titles at the Asian Games, including at 2016 in, uh, 2018, I beg your pardon, last year in Jakarta. 
with the last team to win the Asian Games gold before the Iranians. Japan in Guangzhou in 2010. Triple block again. Back set. Well, if they keep working it to the same side, they're going to crash one through eventually. And that's what happened there with Issei Otake. Antani a little slow that time. That's a very good shot from Otake down the corridor. Sakita hits the serve. Antonov on reception and then to finish. Super pickup. Is the 25 year old from Tuscany, Nelly, on serve? Huge bump there from Sakita. That gives the Italians options from the overpass. Well, they can't hit it clean. Block comes back and he's out. No, 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 they say. No way that that point's going anywhere other than to us. So, hit, block comes back. Way wide. Well, we're still in the early throws of this set. And there's a big gap. It's a throw. Oh, bold attempt at the pancake. Floor touch before he could get there. It's a little bit scrappy. Earth, Japan, pick their way back from this. Ishikawa now. He has been a real threat, Ishikawa. 24. He scored in the uh, full set defeat to the French, the last match day in the opening round in Novi South Serbia. That was a bit loose from Japan. There's a free ball. Basically an open goal there for Simone Anzani. And Yuki Ishikawa knows that just at errors like that that betray a lack of experience and poor decision making are always going to be punished at this level. Ishikawa is their leading point scorer in this VNL campaign. But the defensive the big duty there. Eight four here in Varna. Italy have wrestled control of this match from Japan. Oreste Kabuto, one of the newcomers to the squad, on serve. Tips in the libero. Oh, they set it back. Oh, it wasn't a good set at all. In the end, it's a an overpass from the pipe position, and it, that basically turned into a training ground routine there. Scant resistance to Italian dreams of dominance here.
Cavuto on serve again. The libero tempted through. Well, he played his part there, Tachiro Koga. Diminutive five foot seven. The shorter you are, the punchier the libero play will be. Got to get down low on the floor quickly. Have to be mobile. And Japan's libero certainly was in that rally. Gianelli, oh, brilliant set again. Uh, Nelly can't get the ball down on the floor, but he's so well served by Gianelli, who is a real, real talent. Antonov, open hand comes over. Then Ishikawa gives it to Otake. Antonov hits it. And again. Oh, where does that land? Out. No touch either on the block. So Japan moved to within three points now. Important run of scoring here for the Japanese. They were threatened to be cut. They were threatened to be cut adrift and left for dead in this set. Now Yamaguchi, that's a little underwhelming. Set for the pipe finish. No, they read it. Roberto Russo and Antonov just watching the direction of attack like a hawk. Look at them, top of the net, never keeping their eye off the ball for a split second. And in your peripheral vision as well, you have to work out the positioning of the, the opposite player in the wing side and, well, to which wing the opposition is going to attack. Tip. Oh, that's a terrific pancake from Koga. Gianelli. Nelly. Scrambling up and out and over eventually. That might have found the corner. Brilliant point there, won by the Japanese. Nayoya Takano gave it the hammer down the line. He's just found the apex, I think. And that's one of the best strikes we've seen all day. Striking and spiking. Issei Otake. Very long, that, from Antonov. Brilliant hit. It's a Otake. Italy have called the timeout. Ace there from Otake. Issei Otaki, he was in the World Champ squad last year here in Bulgaria and Italy from Panasonic Panthers. Serves with the Japan trading by two. They've dragged themselves up by the bootstraps here. And made the third set competitive again. And 
Prince there to within one now. This is a terrific crawl back. That's all it takes just to get in the huddle and to hit reset. Just to remind everyone of the strengths and weaknesses. Good serve by Atake. Nelly ah, can't get through the block. The tables have turned, and Italy are having a taste of the medicine that they have enjoyed delivering. Nelly, look, he's back behind the three meter line. That's not his strength. Very boldly tries to smash through the block rather than angle it, rather than go on the diagonal. 11 all. That's a better hit, a more expensive hit, finding open court from La Villa. Tap down, and oh, Nelly saves it. So they go for the back set, bring in Otake. And can you believe this? Japan have now turned this around. They're in the lead at 12-11. Well, all two metre one of him is being utilised for the fall here for <laughs> Japan. And the man wearing one is Sayotake. First big international tournament. This is where you can carve out a reputation. Six points in the match for Otake. Oh, and they're just racking up the points now, making it look so easy. Either with the opposite here, Otake, or the opposite pipe finisher. It's just a very good hit from Yuki Ishikawa. Say Otake on serve. His service has been instrumental in turning this set around. That's another as well. 14 11 now. Japan trailed by five in this set. Brilliant service again from Atake. So Balacio bumps it back into play. It's thrown down, great reflexes from the Italians. Nelly steps back to hit it. Cavuto with a good pick up there, and anything will do. They'll score by hook or by crook. Lavia just makes sure that he bends back some fingernails and gets another point on the board for the Italians. Stop the rock because Japan scored eight points in a row. That's a fabulous service from Atake. Gianelli now on serve. Italy have to steady themselves. And Takano can't get the shot through the block. And back come Italy.
Simone Gianelli. Part of the team that won silver at the Maracan in Rio 2016. Down it drops off the hit from Rousseau. It's finite mediating factors, factors the uh, balances that are affected by uh, so many different factors. They're just rearranging now. The fall behind Italy. It's 14 all. Topsy turvy third set. The whole of the VNL totals 260 matches. Consider that all of those are sandwiched into what, five and a half, six weeks? Gives you an idea just how busy the schedule is in this volleyball summer. 130 matches per gender across the competitions. Japan edging back into the lead. Scoring off the block. As he were. Italy being given a real test today. But ideally poised when you look at the table, fifth. What about the Italian women? Top of the 2019 women's competition in the VNL. 10 and 2, 31 points. So they're on their way to Nanjing. Japan right on the red line at the moment. They're sixth. Second technical timeout of the third set. This could still go either way. Daniele Lavia, the 19-year-old who, like Areste Cavuto, only made his debut in the pre-VNL friendly against the Japanese. Oh, what a boomer! Otake really unleashing the heavy artillery there. Well, they're perhaps best advised to give him as much court time as possible to say Otake. It's been the reason, really, that Japan have come back into this match in set three. Picked up by Sekita. That was the back set. Atake, no full touch there. And Kabuto punts it. 
Uh, the Japanese have just locked in their concentration here. If they can remember the pattern of this level of play, then there could be another full stage victory as we saw last year in Osaka. Side out from the serve of Teishi on Adera. So this is going to be nip and tuck all the way through. Japan will wait patiently for Otake to come back on service. So Gianelli cushioning for Russo. Except for Sakita. It's a quick hit down. Fabulous pickup though from the strike from Yamaguchi and likewise from Otake. So Italy in control and Cavuto gets over the top to roll the shot with prodigious top spin. Get it down inside the paint, bounce it away. Italy have the lead again at 18-17. Super hit that. Bumped up by Koga, and that's wide. Block touch call here. So the Japanese feel that there was a, a touch on the way out, on the way through. Again, as ever with incidents like that, you get the sense of uh, what had happened really from the uh, reaction from the players who were involved. Sometimes the reaction is immediate, isn't it? Instinctive to look across and say, look, you need to challenge that. It seemed to be the way in Japan, although the instincts were wrong. Decision will, uh, will stand. So challenge overruled, essentially. Russo, 1970. Sakita gives it to Otake. Sharp downward cut on the shot, ensuring that he scores off the block. 1918 now. Float serve, so immediate advantage Italy. Yeah, the moment they put it in the airspace of Nelly, there was danger for Japan. Gap of two re-established. Now the main man. So 14 points for the day for Gabriele Nelly. 120, all in now for the VNL 2019. Makes a brilliant save as well. Tap down. Oh, clever play by Anzani. Ensuring Italy take control back of the rally. Bumped up by Balasso. And Nelly picks himself up, dusts himself down to power another one over the net. Well, at the start of that rally, he played his role in the defensive sense by sprawling across to, to punch up the bump. And then just hovering with intent to finally swing through the shoulder when Gianelli is able to push the ball in his general direction. So he's going to be moving up, maybe into the top three, the best attackers list after today. Gabriele Nelly. Otake pushes down. Oh, that would have been an impudent point had they scored off that. Nikita, ah, they do score off the bike. Yamaguchi. Nice high hit. And 
Italy still having to work. Ishikawa. Nelly. Goes line. Goes long. Twenty one plays twenty now. This is how much Nelly missed by. Ishikawa. <laughs> contribution there is perhaps one of his better ones to be diving out the way of the ball. Cavuto to serve now into the net. No. Masahiro Yanagida on service for Japan. Balasso stopped the serve. Nelly goes long. And he's, he's put it out again. Well, that all-important pendulum that seems to carry the momentum of contests such as these. Oh, it's swinging in support of Japan right now. Masahiro Yanagida at 22 all. Third set, big five minutes on the way here in Varna, Bulgaria. That's a hit down by Daniele Lavia. That steadies Italian nerves. It was a, a straightforward jab there, which is just punched against Japanese backcourt. So, out go Yamauchi and Yanagida. Very much now, like uh, yeah, it's Balasso, has been rotated out for Spatoli off the tape and in. So, this is live Italy blocking Nelly up. Third touch has to come over. That's an overpass, and Italy got that wrong. 23 all, and off the service of Riccardo Spatoli as well. But the Japanese reception was all important there. Sakita rotated out for Japan as well. Now then, we know what happened last time. Oturke was at the service line. Japan won eight points straight. Lily, big call that. Yeah, off the opposite side. They couldn't block him back or down. And it's a moment of relief for the Italians. Sealed the set yet. But they're at least right there. Gianelli now, the captain. Oh, it's long. 24s. Italy lift themselves. Noya Takano. Very nervy, very tense. So it's the unforced error from Takano. It opens the way again for the Italians. Shot comes through, and he made it. He made it. Atake again. Oh, he's dragging Japan through almost single-handedly. 25s now. So Otake just gets the flicker, bends back the finger there of Roberto Russo.
Cabuto gives it to Nelly, standing start, flops it against the flat hands of the Japanese block. Stuffed down. Push into the corner as well by Gianelli. Clever. Japan with a chance here. Oh, that's Balasso with a fabulous save. The Libero for Italy. And it's he that wins the point in truth. Balasso, brilliant Libero play. Absolutely brilliant from Balasso. That's why they're there, to have the reactions and to have that skill set. And then, after the push from Gianelli, they're able to win that point ugly. So set point number three for the Azzurri. Push down, and that is a ripper. Yamauchi over the shoulder. Oh, he daggers that down through the heart of the Italians. Shot of the day, that from Varna. Massa Sakita serving. That goes long. Can Italy hold? Nearly serve is a good one. This bump has to be good. Oh, it's all Italy now. Block back! Brilliantly. Brilliant that from Japan. How on earth did he win the point for them, Yuki Ishikawa? Confident. Committed blocking. But Kabuto will think there, he had just that one isolated defender to to slot the shot past. He still can't find a, a route through to get too clear. The latest of the opportunities is now set point number five for Italy. Spatoli in. Candelaro two. Trentino player, the middle blocker, Davide Candelaro, serves deep. Japan defend it. Nelly. Bolasso gives it to Nelly, who finishes finally a marathon third set here. Italy finally get the two clear at 29-27. So they've turned this contest around, having lost the opening set. They blitzed Japan in the second, 25-15. This one, though, went all the way. Really tough set, that. But Italy have taken it. 
set four here in Varna, Bulgaria. Italy lead the Japanese here. They've come from behind. Japan took the opening set 25-13. Italy the next two, 25-15 and then 29-27. Japan serving though at the start of the fourth. Italy with the quick up and down. Roberto Russo. Nice and lively. In tight on the net. Russo with his seventh point of the match. Last one was a bit of an odd set, really, because Italy started really strongly. Japan, just at the point we thought they would be basically cut adrift, dug in. Oh, brilliant run of serve with Otake. And they level here at 1-1. It's possible for them to stop Nelly. So, Yuki Ishikawa now. Ginelli to Anzani. Oh, he stood tall today for the Italians, Simone Anzani. Super performance. A super spike here from Simone Anzani of Safety Perugia. Nelly, float serve, and cross court. They found the gap. Well worked. Takano, second attack, second score of the match for Noyo Takano. 2 2. So this is Akihiro Yamauchi now. So Ginelli, just that dead weight set again. Wing side player ready to deliver it. Daniele Lavia. From Ravenna. It's 19. Lavia. Rocket of a serve. The retrieval comes back for Otake. Now wing side, shot rolled off the top of the hands by Takano, and Johnny blocked down. Well, not often that he's lost those one-to-one -one duels today, Simone Anzani, but he did there. No wonder they're giving Teishi Onodera a pat on the back. Three-three here. Balasso reading the service of Otake and back court and front court, leaving that no man's land, uh, rich for pickings. Tip finish there, which just has the Japanese a little bit red faced. The disguise on the shot was so delicate from Oresti Kabuto. Twelve points, Simone Anzani. Drops the serve at Takano. Well, reception and then finish from Naya Takano in that rally for Japan there. Kabuto with the save. Nelly, that one-handed push. Yeah, risky tactic that from Masa Sekita. Not with the size of the Italian middle blockers who are going to be alert to any threat of uh, this kind of finish. Five-four. The 
brilliant young setter. Simone Gianelli, the captain, on service. Otake, now to wing side. Ishikawa really not the tallest, no elevation on the shot. And Gianelli gives it to Nelly. And it work, finds its way through again. Just reliable, Nelly. Twenty points for the match now for Gabriele Nelly. Oh, Gianelli rolls that. How on earth did he get the weight and balance on that service, Gianelli? Ace here from the Italian skipper. It certainly helps when the opposition back court is as flat-footed as Japan were there. Tries to do it again, Gianelli. Different tactic this time with the power and the early takedown. Finds the floor. Daishi Onodera just gets his right arm behind that very early indeed, before that block can really form. Oh. It's an ace. Yeah, just a, a reminder that the uh, the power is one thing, but spin, the way that alters the uh, trajectory, that can do so much damage too. So one of Dara goes again. It's the push up for Gianelli, which allows the pipe finish. Roberto Russo. Ball by the horns, not messing about there. Yeah, just a reminder that uh, <laughs> we're the bosses, say Italy. That's when the opposition seem to be enjoying themselves a little too much. Short serve is snapped up there. 8 6 here for Italy. Soprattutto con la staccata. Well, you can work, but you know, as a diagonal, everything you take the right position. They close the line for you. That's one, they close the line. Four, they close the line. So you have to open a little bit more on diagonal. Well, Italy's women's team, as mentioned a little earlier, going fantastically well. They've just uh, come off an event. Perugia. Japanese women as, as well. High hopes of reaching the final six of their competition, currently sixth. been at home this week the Japan women's team in Tokyo <laughs> women's competition started a week before the men so they're running a, a week ahead it's another peach of a finish from Yamauchi he's twice he's done that now Cavuto on reception, Gianelli taps over the top. They get lucky there because that was a miss hit. 
Lavia, you just see him go to execute the hit. It's his hand a, a little early, still comes over. But Japan can't rearrange the defense. The momentum dissipates with Russo's service fault. By the way, second match inside the Palace of Culture and Sport here in Varna, scheduled to start in an hour and a half time. That is Bulgaria, the host nation here against Australia. And this arena will be pumping for that one. Into the net, Nova somehow caught the take, came through. Oh, they got a call for a block touch there. No need for the challenge, actually. Our referee saw it. Gianelli to Lavia. The contact, I think, there is off Isai Otake. So Nelly delivers the serve. But 11 8 here. 11 9. That's because Takano got the ball down on the floor just inside the sideline. Uh, we're just getting to that run it's every now and again. Where the, uh, the problems with service suddenly become contagious. The target's been serving like a demon today, though. Rolls another one over. Balasso on the pickup. Oh, the pancake save from Otake, and Japan work hard to win the point. Well, Otake with the service, and then this fabulous piece of defense where he gets low and flat, and basically gets the shovel out. He's deep in the turf, digging that up. Oh, what a save by Issei Otake. Overpass here. Oh, and they've disguised the set. Brilliant play from Japan. A combination play which allows Takano to give it the hammer again. They're just not lying down. Takano with his sixth point of the match drills that. Not surprising here to see Blengini call his team over for a timeout. Japan are sensing a real chance here to take this to five. He's always going to beam one sooner or later, is say Atake. That is the moment he does it. Quite a prospect, this player. So 
don't serve on it. And Zane has been very impressive for the Italians today. It's a safe serve, though. It's pretty much a gimme. As long as the reception's good, which it was. They can just manoeuvre the ball into the airspace of Teishi on Adera. Nelly to hit it. Gave it both barrels there, Nelly. Pumps it at Tachiro Koga, the libero. Twenty-one points for the match now for Gabriele Nelly. So ably served by Simone Gianelli. Over the head set, oh, somehow he's managed to win the point there for Japan, Otake. Again, back beyond the three-metre line, so there's not that momentum carrying in and through the shot. Very accomplished there. To Make sure that the shot comes through those blocking arms. And then that momentum just drifts away again. Oladera and Lee is the first choice combination at middle blocker in the first week of this VNL in Novi Sad for Japan. There's the retrieval. He's done it again. No, they've picked it up that time off the shot. Yamauchi, the real menace mid court. But Italy are dogged. 16 14, they have a lead of two into the second technical timeout of this fourth set. Bulgarian tricolors, a lot of green and red beginning to filter into the arena in preparation for the host nations match with Australia in an hour and a half's time. Italy is 16 14 up here in the fourth set. Best of five, so Italy just need to take this set and they've won the match. Japan are all about taking us to a decider. Still how close the, the third set was. Went down to 29-27 before Italy wrapped it up. So this could well go the distance. Japan have been very good in patches. Block touch, that's the call here off the hit from La Via. That was the instinctive reaction of Gian Lorenzo Blenghini. There we can see it was an obvious out, just the question here is uh, who it came off last, who touched it last. Mangini's uh, men. The Japanese. Comes over the top of the fingernails. 
No touch. Challenge overruled. Always worth having a look, though. Masa Sekita serving for Japan. Oh, risky. Very risky. All that top spin and just trying to sort of dial down on it, really. But you have to make sure it carries over the tape. Italy side out. On service is Roberto Russo. Put back by the Libero. Through it comes. Yamauchi, the middle blocker, and the top finisher. Off the set from Sakita. And he's lifted himself alongside Takano, alongside Onodera now, Yamauchi. Second only to Ishikawa on the scorers list today. Oh, that's a terrific pickup off the attempt by Anzani. Thought that was down on the floor. Then Nelly, third touch has to come over. And Italy control the joust. Lavia! Oh, and he tried to use every centimetre of the court there. But it turned out he wanted too much length. So Gianelli gives Lavia the best possible circumstances to try and hit it. It was a triple block, but he could have tried for the wipe out there. Oh, that's an ace from Nelly. What a serve there. Power play from Gabriele Nelly. Oh, the top spin absolutely devastating. Concentration, technique, all fusing together. They try to block him. They try to block him. So when you call, when you call the quick, pass from his position. Rest huh? one B is first leg. Rest on his left. Here is the ball. Huh? Okay. And when it's a good situation with five, sometimes you can also play quick because they wait for him. Italy. Another big serve for Italy. Unable to pick up though. And Nelly edges the Azuri closer. the net and over just the killing of the pace on the ball gives Japan the opportunity to now control the rally Lavia tries to tap down Nelly hits it off the blockers they just can't pick up that second ball because the block actually worked there for Japan but that's the moment when Someone else has to pick up. And yeah, we're going to go to the touchlines here because Yuichi Nakagechi has uh, called a Japan timeout. So Philip Lau will uh, deliver the instructions. Pass 
in crociato che non veda, ok? Poca parallela libera. Se sei in ritardo ti butti, ok? Ma io non sarei in ritardo. Tengo un occhio alla palla. There's light at the end of the tunnel here for Nelly in Italy. He's 24 points. Have them nicely poised here. Japan moved to within three. But the business end now of set number four in Varna, Bulgaria. Italy follow up against the Australians tomorrow. That's always a big contest. Italy, Australia in any sport. Japan faced the host nation. Bulgaria played last of two fixtures on each of the three days of play here in Varna. Final match of this pool will be Sunday evening Italy against Bulgaria. A meeting of the co hosts from last year's world champs. There was an argument to leave that. Italy did play it though. Masai is going to bounce away for 21 19 now. And much like in set three, Japan are just chomping at the bit. Masahiro Yanagida serving. Lavia picks up and then runs around for that third touch finish. I think they could have left that. But instead, Masahiro Yanagida tried to play it. Very easy to say afterwards, but it was the wrong call. It's heading for the advertising boards, that. It from Lavia. So Spatoli for Lavia now, rotated into the service. That's a nice set in for Otake. We'll have another go. He's wide of the sidelines. No, the angles working against here in Japan there. Italy working well and working hard to just close down the area of the court. Japan live to fight just another day. Otake with a big run of serves previously in this match to Get Japan competitive, can't produce one there though. And the service error leaves Italy at match point here. In comes the service. Overpass, oh, bumped over by Gianelli. It more or less rolled off his shoulder. Blocked back down and out. No panic for Italy. Got a few more chances to win this match. Got a call for the service of Yuji Nishida. 24 points in last year's VNL contest against the Italians. And he was the youngest player ever to hit 30 points in a match against Argentina last year. He's only 18. Yuji Nishida. We'll be seeing more of him 
this weekend in Nirvana. He's not featured much today, though, off the top of the block. Nelly nearly is able to win it there. The block back. And Italy fittingly win with a block. They've defeated the Japanese. 25-21 here in the uh, fourth set. Strange match, really. Japan had their moments. Italy looked brilliant in part, and then their level dropped off. Doesn't really matter how you win, as long as you do win. Italy have their fifth triumph in the seven matches in the VNL 2019. They're going great. At present, they're heading for the top six. They're heading for finals week in Chicago. They've got off to a very good start here in the Vala Bulgaria leg of the VNL in week three. Japan continue to struggle. Italy continue to fly. They've recovered from the straight sets defeat to the uh, Russians at the end of the Ufa leg seven days ago. Up and running here in Varna, Bulgaria. A sigh of release, relief, at least as well, probably, for Gian Lorenzo Blengini at the end of his team's four set triumph over the Japanese. Look at that. Blocks 16 for Italy against just four for Japan. It was in defense that this match was won for the Italians. Plus, of course, the prodigious hitting of Gabriele Nelli. Another 24 points to his tally. Confirmation then of Italy's full set victory over the Japanese. They lost the opening set, but then won the next three, 25-15, 29-27, 25-21. Bulgaria against Australia is to come later. See you then.